Well, welcome to our Fox Point Market Update webinar. My name is Ron Wilstein, and I'm a broker with Keller Williams Luxury Homes International here in Park City, Utah. Uh, put together this webinar to educate you and update you regarding what's been happening at Fox Point at Redstone in terms of uh, number of sales and property values. So, hope you'll find this webinar helpful. Uh, I do want to mention at the outset that uh, in the event that you have any questions whatsoever, about what we I cover here or some things that I don't cover, feel free to email me your questions. I will promptly answer them. Send them to ron at thewillsteenteam.com. And uh, if you'd like to speak with me, include your phone number and a preferred time for me to contact you, and I would be happy to, uh, to contact you, answer any questions that I can. Before we get into what's been happening at Fox Point, let's just take a quick overview of what's been happening over the past year with the Park City real estate market. During the past 12 months, we've seen 1,391 sales in Park City. This consists of homes, condominiums, and vacant land combined. This is all real estate brokerages combined, and that is up 18% or 216 sales from the previous 12 month period. Now, if we zero in on homes, condominiums, and land, here's what we see in a year-to-year -year comparison. Homes overall are up 16% from a 503 sales the previous year to 582 sales of single-family homes. Condos rose also by 16% up to 603 sales from 520 the year before and vacant land rose a total of 36% from 152 sales all the way up to 206 sales. So it's nice to see in each category the number of uh, closed sales increasing uh, in year over year. But what's happening with prices? Let's take a look at that. And let's begin with homes and I'm going to be presenting to you the medium sold home prices from November of 2012 through to October 2013. In Park City home prices have rose from a medium price of one million twelve thousand five hundred all the way up to one million two hundred sixteen thousand two hundred fifty dollars so that's up twenty percent really nice gains in appreciation in the Snyderville Basin for homes they rose from six hundred twenty thousand up to seven hundred nine and that's a fourteen percent increase as we turn to condominiums we see the increase continuing in Park City limits it rose from four hundred seventy five thousand to 509,000, a 7% increase. And in the Snyderville Basin, which is the county area of Park City, condo prices rose from 269,950, up 20%, all the way to $322,847. So increases in both in town and out of town, if you will. Vacant land prices rose by 10% in the city limits from a medium lot price of 500,000 up to 550 and in the Snyderville Basin it rose by 33 percent from 225,000 all the way up to 300,000. Now this chart here looks back at the very height of the market going back to 2005 and you can see there were 2,989 sales again this is homes condominiums and vacant land this is all real estate brokerages combined that are service through the uh, multiple listing service. That's where this data comes from. Well, then in 2006, it dropped off, then dropped more in 2007, again in 2008. 2009 was the bottom of the market in terms of number of transactions. And then it started rising in 2010 and climbed again in 11 and in 12. And while we're not at the end of 2013, based upon current uh, statistics all the way through to October, so the first 10 months, uh, we expect to break last uh, year's uh, total. So uh, nice to see the charts going up. Our market is strong in terms of number of transactions, strong in terms of prices in homes, condos, and lots, pretty much every category. So a nice overall market report. <clears throat> now let's take a look at specifically what's happening in Fox Point. This past year, there's been 13 sales compared to 11 the year before, so that's up 18%. This is particularly impressive in as much as uh, financing has not been available at Fox Point due to the uh, pending lawsuit, which I'll briefly talk about in a moment. 
Uh, nevertheless, we're seeing transactions that are either cash buyers or sellers willing to provide some form of seller financing. Nice to see it up 18% over the past year's number of sales. Absorption rate is the rate in which uh, the current inventory of properties will sell in based upon past sales. Uh, Fox Point condos are selling at a pace of one sale every 28 days, so just slightly under one a month. And currently there are three condos on the market at Fox Point, which equates to a three month inventory. So that's very positive, definitely favoring the seller as the market has now shifted. <clears throat> Here we have the range of sold prices from 170,000 all the way up to $420,050. Of course, this is a variety of sizes, locations within the property. The medium sold price is 316,800, and that is up 20% from the previous year's medium price. This chart here shows that we jumped from 263,500 up 20% to the current medium price of 316,800. Now, to, if you're interested in seeing specifically what properties did sell, happy to provide that. Just send me an email at ron at thewellsteinteam.com. I'll provide you with that sales data, pictures of the properties, anything that you need. Always happy to provide that information. We want to be your source of uh, good current information so you can make good decisions about your investment. Now, if you're interested in getting updates on the Fox Point market whenever you want, you know, I'm doing a this uh, webinar here in November of 2013, I update these periodically, but sometimes in between webinars you want to know what's been happening. You can bookmark our website, viewparkcityrealestate.com, and if you add forward slash Fox Point, you could use the willsteenteam.com forward slash Fox Point that will take you to the same place. What it will do is it will take you to our website, but not just the home page. It will take you directly to the Fox Point page. That's what you're looking at right now, Fox Point at uh, Redstone. On this page, there's a little brief write-up as to the property. Um, and then you can go to this button, the green button, which turns tan when you hover over it. Watch a webinar for an update. If you click that, you'd be able to watch the webinar you're watching right now. Um, and then this button here, send me current sales data on Fox Point condominiums. If you click that, that would take you to this current sales data request page and all you do is you fill in your name and your uh, email address uh, you're welcome to put in your mailing address if you want to receive our newsletters that we send out quarterly and then just go down to the subdivision category here and type in Fox Point I'll just do that real quick and um, then type of property you can change that from house to condo and if you're uh, looking as you're a buyer and you're curious about this keep it on buyer if you're a property owner or seller click seller and feel free to type in any questions or comments into this comment box here and then when you're done you simply click on the submit form that will come to me we'll get you that information and you'll be up to speed on uh, what's happening at Fox Point anytime you're interested so bookmark that page and uh, take advantage of that way of uh, being updated I just want to take you back to uh, viewparkcityrealestate.com forward slash Fox Point. A little lower down on this page, you will see the three um, properties currently on the market. I mentioned there are three active listings. Here they are. And feel free to, uh, for instance, you can click on one of them and it will immediately take you to the property. It gives you the details, the price. It will start scrolling through photos of the property and you can uh, add this to your list of favorites or print it out or request a showing. Um, this is also helpful because you can click on the bird's eye view and when you come to that you'll see the property and exactly the location of it and uh, you know it's just helpful information so uh, feel free to take advantage of that. It's a nice website full of a lot of good information. Uh, if by the way you own a Fox Point unit and you're curious what it is worth in today's market Again, you can send me an email, ron at thewellsteenteam.com, and uh, tell me a little bit about your property. I'll ask if I can get into it, inspect it, and then I'll let you know what it's worth in today's market. Now, very quickly, I just want to um, talk briefly, ever so briefly, about the Fox Point 
uh, legal update. Uh, first, the most important thing is if you go to foxpoint at redstone.com, this is the uh, website for the Homeowners Association under construction, de construction defects lawsuit update, you'll get the most up to date information. Uh, let me just pop that up to you so you can see it. Here's the Fox Point website, and if you from the home page just scroll down a little bit, there you are right there at the construction defect lawsuit update. Click on that and you will get an update as to exactly where things are in the most recent communication that has happened um, even by months and by specific dates. So lots of good information here. Uh, the general consensus is that they are moving much closer to a resolution. They've got a lot of homeowners involved and in agreement with it. Uh, the latest version I've heard, at least from some of the property owners I've talked to who have been actively uh, staying with this, uh, with these updates, is they think maybe March there may be a resolution and a final number that ultimately will come to the Homeowners Association. Um, it's getting so close that I was actually contacted last week by a lender who is now prepared uh, as a primary residence to grant some loans at Fox Point. Hadn't been that way for, well, as you know, several years. So it's now loosening up, it's good news. So uh, don't hesitate to go to that website, check it out. Um, if you're a homeowner there, uh, it's your pro best place to get the most current information the Fox, for the Fox Point community. <clears throat> All right, uh, I wanna take this time as I wrap up here, just to remind you that every month we do a what we call a Park City Market Talk webinar. It's about a 20 minute presentation, give you an update on where the market is, some of the information I provided earlier in this webinar about the overall market. And then we zero in on a couple of topics that are very timely where we're getting lots of questions about it. As we enter into the ski season, there's more questions about the Park City Mountain Resort and Vail operation of uh, canyons. And so very good current information. If you want to be, uh, if you want to receive an email reminder every month when we uh, update the uh, Market Talk webinar, which is on the second Tuesday of the month, let us know. We'll kindly send you that, and uh, it's just a little tickler reminder about that webinar. If you want to see any of our other webinars, you can go to the willsteenteam.com uh, forward slash webinar archives, and um, that information is there for you to. Uh, to look at. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this webinar. Uh, we're here to help you. If you have any questions, call or send me an email and I wish you a good day.